Hey everyone. So yesterday I posted on Instagram um, what I did here organizing my stickers and I got a lot of questions on how I did it and so I wanted to quickly show you what I did. So I went a little crazy. Um, I don't remember when it was earlier this year or maybe late last year. I can't remember but when all these sticker books started coming out like especially these um, me and my big idea sticker books for the happy planner when they started coming out I went really crazy and I actually bought tons more than what I have here I spent like probably two hundred dollars even with coupons on these sticker books and then I realized that I went a little overboard so I returned a lot of them and then this is what I just had left because I had already used some out of here and um, I wasn't able to return it anymore so these are the ones I kept even though this is way more stickers than I'll ever need or use and so I've been keeping them on my desk and um, they've been sitting there and to tell you the truth I rarely reach for these because I always just kind of like forget what's in here and it's kind of overwhelming this is like tons of stickers thousands and thousands of stickers so what I decided to do because I'm trying to really you guys um, if you've been following me know that I like to do minimal planning a lot of white space and so with everything with my planning I'm really even trying to cut down even more and just go down to the basics so I didn't really need this many stickers especially because I plan with mostly black white gray gold and then sometimes a teeny tiny bit of color which is mostly like a minty blue or a blush pink but not very much color at all and this these books are full of colorful stickers so I I'm not going to use the majority of them at least in my planning so what I decided to do was go through all these sticker books and find the one the stickers I would actually use and put them into a sticker book that I made a sticker binder by category and out of all of these sticker books that I have I mean I only have this many stickers that I would actually use in my planner so as you can see a lot of this I'm not going to use so I really shouldn't have spent that much money on all these and even with kits um, you know I had a kit let me see where I have it I think oh I think it's in here I had a kit from my newest edition my newest addiction and I love this kit It's called Sunday goals this is just the full boxes but you know I bought the whole kit because I liked you know especially these boxes but I bought the whole kit and I ended up I laid it out on my you know Erin Condren planner and I actually never even used that week because I just don't use that many colorful stickers in my planner I kept these just because um, I'm, I might use some of these gray ones and I really like these two boxes but even with kits, I found that I don't really need to buy a full kit because I'm not going to ever use all those stickers in a kit and it's just kind of like wasting my money. So I decided that um, I'm probably, unless the kit, ha I'm going to use like more than 75% of the stickers, I'm not going to buy kits anymore. And I never really bought that many kits anyways, but I've been shopping around a lot and adding things to my cart and then taking it out because... What I decided is that, you know, like I said, I want to just cut down, go to the basics with some fun stuff, but keep it very minimal. So these stickers, like I said, I took out the ones I would use like here and there and I put them in this sticker binder. So I went through all of these and did that. And then these stickers will not go to waste because I will probably use a, a lot of them in my like um, photo albums like I don't really do scrapbooking but I do have pictures and albums and I could just add stickers in here especially like these watercolor stickers and this one that's specifically for memory planning so I can use a lot of these stickers for that because I don't mind being more colorful in my photo albums but just in my planner I like to keep it pretty monochromatic with you know just the neutral colors so these won't go to waste I'll use it for that but I definitely know that I need to resist temptation when um, these sticker books come out because like I said as you can see out of all these I only have a few pages of stickers I would actually use in my planner so 
yeah, so I have all these sticker books here that I keep now on hand. Just, um, you know, I'll use that for my photo albums. So I wanted to show you guys what I did here because a lot of you asked. So I just got, I actually have a few of these binders. I got these from Target. And I believe these two came from like the binder section in the school supplies um, or office supplies area. And this one came from the you know bullseyes playground the dollar spot section and then i got these um these sheet protectors these mini sheet protectors also in the same section as these um the the binder section and they i forget it was like four bucks or something for like i don't know how many 15 or 20 sheet protectors and so i bought a few of those so um what I just did is I got those sheet protectors and I got, um, this is glossy paper because I ran out of my label paper, but I have label paper that I use to ship my orders or, you know, print the labels to ship my orders. And so all I did was every time I um, ship orders and I use those shipping labels, I take the backing and I just cut it in half just here on my paper cutter. I just cut it in half and exactly half of this sheet fits perfectly in these sheet protectors. So that's all I did. So this paper here is, you know, so you can put your stickers on it and take it off and you can still use your stickers. It has that like waxy coating or whatever. Um, so I had a bunch of those, so that's all I did. I just cut those sheets in half and put my stickers on them. Now, if you don't have like label paper laying around to do that, um, I did do some research before I figured that out and I did see on Amazon that they sell like I think they call it like sticker release paper like special paper that you could put your stickers on it'll be removable so you can reuse them they I forget how much it was it's probably like 15 or 16 dollars for like I don't know 20 or something like that so I don't know if you want to spend that I don't want to spend that so I figured this out with just if you have any kind of label paper, you know, just um, if you remove the labels off of it, you can use that paper for these. So what I did was, like I said, I took off the stickers in these books that I would use and I laid out a bunch of these and I just started, as I was getting stickers out of here, I started putting it down on these sheets by category. So what I have here is a bunch of like quality time type of stickers um, with for me and my family like movie night pizza night lunch date me time and stuff and then a continuation here and then I had stuff like um, about working getting work done or stuff like note to self and get it done and be productive to do and all that and then a continuation here and then here I had stuff like having to do with like calendar, so like weekend, vacation, family, uh, road trip, and a continuation there. And then here is just kind of like encouragement, like you can do it, you got this, go for it and stuff. And then on this one is um, kind of along the same lines, but uh, more kind of like inspirational, mostly like um, live in the moment, shine and stuff like that. I really like this one. I wanted to, I was going to share it in a Instagram post, but by doing what you love, you inspire and awaken the hearts of others. And I really like that a lot because as I'm doing this stuff for you guys, like videos and blog posts and Instagram, you know, sometimes I get caught up in trying to do what everyone else is doing and, you know, I don't know, like keep up with the Joneses, right? This is a nice reminder just just do what I love to do and it will naturally, hopefully, inspire others. I don't have to try to do what everyone else is doing. I don't, you know, I just have to focus on what I love to do, which I really do love planner stuff, everything to do with planners. So if I just keep sharing that with you guys, I'm hoping that that will inspire you and, you know, maybe help you in some way by giving you tips and stuff. So I really, really like this sticker. I'm gonna use it somewhere. And then here's just a continuation of that. And then here's full boxes and a continuation of that. Those full boxes from my newest addiction kit, Sunday Goals. Um, I really like these full boxes, so I just have it here. And then half boxes. 
and then deco and so I don't use a ton of deco I'm a very functional planner so I don't use a ton of deco but these were from my newest addiction the kit and I just really thought these were super adorable so I just kept it here for you know I might just add it somewhere and then I really liked the sticker and one of the um, me and my big ideas sticker books it says bless this hot mess totally me and then I just have some extra spots here for more stickers that I can add so yeah that's it's really easy um, I really like it a lot I was like joking around in my Instagram posts and my Instagram stories that it's so satisfying and those of you that are planner nerds and OCD know what I mean that having it like this is so satisfying because like I said in here you know they're kind of like sporadically spread out through here so I, I would forget like this you know like lazy day would be somewhere in here and I would never remember where that was so I like having it by category here it's really helpful so when I'm looking for a quality time type sticker I just go here and it's all right there so it's so I really love it it makes my OCD happy and yeah so I wanted to kind of show you my other what I had in these ones so I have this one for sticker kits so I told I, I mentioned just a minute ago that I'm not going to buy a lot of sticker kits um, but there are certain ones like I just bought a scribble Prince Co kit the silence one I don't know if you guys saw that one and it's all black white and gray so I bought that kit because I would definitely use all those stickers or most of those stickers so kits like that where I will use it I will buy it and then I want to store them in here so I'll have just this binder for kits my own kits and other people's kits so when I'm looking to theme a week then I can just go in here so I haven't started collecting any yet these are the ones for my shop but um, I have a few on the way so I'll share that with you guys when they get here and then I have this one which I've had for the longest time and this is the one I use to hold my stickers that are from my shop but the ones that I use in my planning all the time so I just have them here um, because these are pretty much the ones I use every single week in my Erin Condren and my personal ringbound planner so yeah I just have a whole bunch of these handy and I like to keep these separately because these are probably my most used stickers so I usually have these sitting on my desk in the corner um, and yeah, for easy access. Oh, and then I do have one other. So these are gonna be for my own stickers, sticker kits and like from the sticker books because I might buy more sticker books coming up and um, because I saw some new ones coming out. <laughs> you know, like if you're a sticker addict, you can't help yourself, but um, you know, I'll, do what I did like with these ones here and I will get my ones that I, I think I'll use and I'll stick them in here and then save the rest for other purposes so um, I'll use that just for those stick uh, me and my happy or uh, me and my big idea stickers that I want to categorize but I also have this small thing and I think you might have seen it in a video before but just this tiny little I got this from Hobby Lobby just a little expanding file and as you can see I don't have very much these are just a few of my favorite sticker shops um, where I just get little sheets not like kits so this is where I'll keep little sheets so I have some from the planning world from paper blush bar from paper seagull co and from coffee monsters co and then in the front I just have some icons miscellaneous icon stickers that I just collect for just in case I keep that in the front and so I have some extra spaces for some more in the back and yeah so that's what I keep in there so these are just like little extra sheets of stickers so I really really like this system I feel like it's a lot more organized I could find stickers a lot easier and it's a lot more minimal because I'm just taking the stickers that I will actually use and having it right here for easy access and very organized so I can quickly find them. So anyways, I hope you guys liked that video. I hope it answered your questions about how I did this. And if you have any other questions, please leave it in the comments below and I will um, try to answer them. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.